In my estimation, there are there are a few uh, more audacious, provocative, and interesting filmmakers working in world cinema today than uh, than our guest tonight, uh, Nadav Lapid. Um, he was last here uh, at the New York Film Festival for a short film, I believe, uh, from the diary of a, of a wedding photographer. Um, and his first feature film, uh, Policeman, which uh, I think is sort of one of the most uh, astonishing uh, debut films of the century, uh, premiered in the in the main slate uh, here here at the festival. Um, we're very pleased to have him back with his latest film, uh, Synonyms, which won the gold, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, won the Golden Bear at this year's uh, Berlinale. Um, I want to quickly thank the film's uh, distributor, Kino Lorber, uh, and yes, and um, and why don't we just get down to the conversation? Please join me in welcoming Nadav Lapid. Um, I guess. Uh, this is sort of an additional housekeeping item, I guess. Uh, how many people have actually seen synonyms? Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's about better than I... Yeah, about, all right. About between half and two-thirds. <laughs> so we can actually talk about the film a little bit then without spoiling it for the one-third that has not seen it yet, who will, I'm sure, be at the screening later tonight. Um, let's begin maybe with... Uh, the dedication uh, for the film. Um, the film is dedicated to your mother, who's also um, who's also edited uh, all your films up to this point. Um, could you could we begin by talking a bit about your collaboration and um, and it also it also struck me that uh, this new film was uh, was co-written, I believe, with your your father as well. Mm -hmm. So it's really a family affair. Could you just talk a bit about that? Um, okay, it's, it, I mean, it's, 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 it's a good start, it's a pretty, I mean, it's, 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 it's gonna be a morbid and sad now, so prepare yourself. Um, no, because I don't want to spoil the, the, the ambience, but, the, but because, um, yes, my, my mother, I, my mother was, was, um, was a uh, film editor, well-known, uh, notorious film editor in Israel. She edited many, many films, uh, mostly documentaries, but also fiction. Uh, and she, she, what I, I believe, uh, I'm not objective, uh, um, her son, but what I believe was, was uh, unique about her is that uh, as an editor, she had no obligation or, dev or devotion for the director, even if the director was her son. I mean, I mean, I mean, she didn't feel that she has to serve the vision of the director. She didn't feel that she has to serve, of course, uh, not the interest of a producer or something like this. This is evident. I think that the only thing that she was she was concerned with. She didn't care about the script. The only thing she was concerned with was the truth that she uh, felt that she recognized in the materials. And if what's happening sometime, if the, the, the director couldn't, in her opinion, uh, 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 or wasn't, wasn't aware of the, or couldn't recognize this truth, so she had to, to fight against him in order to open his eyes so he'll be able to see what he actually was shooting. Um, which means that, that, that you can imagine that the editing process was, well, was stormy. But, uh, but at the same time, it was, it was, it was I, mean, I mean, I think that film editors should, should be, first and above all, they should be devoted to, to, to the truth. I mean, this is the place where you where you find what it's all really about. So my mother, my mother edited uh, all my all my movies, uh, feature films, uh, uh, short films, medium-length films. Uh, 
when we were very close, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, you can imagine, I mean, I mean, editing a movie, it's like, it's like, it's like spending, I don't know, five months, six months from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. with a, with a, with a person in a, in a, in a small room, um, uh, discussing, uh, debating, arguing, uh, and 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 also also I always feel that the most intimate thing I have is my shots, the shots that I'm shooting. So you expose to this person the most intimate thing you have, uh, with all the good and the bad takes, uh, and um, and. Um, Actually, just just uh, two three days after after uh, the, the 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 beginning of the shooting, I synonyms was shot in Paris. My 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 family, my, my myself as well. But my parents they live in in Israel. And uh, several days uh, after the beginning of the shooting, uh, the, she found out that she she has cancer, uh, lung cancer, uh, uh, uncurable one, and. Uh, and she m she made this i think this 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 choice not to tell me about it till i'll finish the shooting uh, not to put me in this dilemma uh, you know uh, so i found it i found out i mean i mean i found out uh, i re i mean i mean my father was waiting for me in the airport when i went back to israel to edit the movie and the next day we started editing, and uh, uh, you know it was like like uh, like a I mean I don't have any other way to say it. It was like a terrible race between uh, what will end before the editing or her life, uh, and she 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 passed away before she 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 ended the the editing. Uh, I mean, the movie already took a certain form, or not a certain uh, form, but 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 she didn't have the time to complete it. Uh, it was really, I think, like maybe four weeks before she passed away, we had the last uh, um, rough cut screening. So it was really till the v the last moments, uh, and it was really, I mean, you know, editing under a shadow of death. And editing between the between the editing room and 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 and, uh, and hospitals, it was it was it was terrible. Um, so that's why the movie is dedicated to her. And actually, if we talk already about it, I realized that I made a mistake. I didn't I didn't because because. Uh, most of the people, when they see this, the the how do you say dedication? You say in English, they don't. It's not clear that she passed away, and then people ask me very often about. Uh, so how was the editing? Uh, was it nice? And and uh, and and then you have to to face. Uh, um, yeah, and 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 and. And I wrote the script with 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 uh, my father was a co-writer of the the script. My father is a writer, uh, and again, I th there's something I think I think there's something interesting about it because uh, because uh, for those who watch the movie, for those who is going who's going to watch it, uh, well, the film is based on my own experience and it, it's it's a pretty autobiographical one and it, it describes a period in my life where I, I, I one year after the end of my military service I felt uh, the, 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 the obligation, the necessity, the urge to, 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 to leave I Israel, to never come back. I, 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 I felt as if I'm the only seeing per person surrounded by, by, by blind people. I, 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 I felt that Israel is a country with, with no future, uh, and I um, and I, I a few days later I, I landed in Charles de Gaulle Airport, and and then I. This is more or less the the the, the beginning point of synonyms, but 
it was a period when I was, I mean, I wanted to erase all my, my past, including all the people I knew. So I, uh, I, uh, I stopped being in contact with all the Israelis I knew, including my parents. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and in a way, I mean, I mean, there was something, because m most of the scenes in the script took more or less place in reality. And in a way, one, one could have imagined that working about such a film with your parents would become kind of confession kind of diary, kind of a way to, to, to tell them what was happening in a period. Of, but I, I think that I really grew up in a family where cinema was an impo as important as, as life. And I think that when I told you that the, the story about, about my mother, you could, you could also witness it. I mean, I, mean, I think that it's not a matter of comfort, but the fact that my mother passed their last days on earth editing was was in a way the, the the best the best but the only right way that she could she could uh, finish her life but so so I grew up in a in a in a family in a family where where cinema was as important as life so there have never been questions or or discussions while writing the script for instance based on what really happened? It was. It's. I mean, it's. All, it always happened to Yoav and not to Nadav. It was always like. I mean, never. Ah, so was it really like this? No, it was always like. So should we do this? And which, but I mean, there was also always this artistic distance or the artistic artistic perspective. Uh, it doesn't mean that it wasn't emotional. I think that that that. You know, cinema and filmmaking is extremely emotional thing. It's like just differently emotional than life. And I'm yeah, I'm, I'm I'd be curious to hear you uh, uh, sort of elaborate on how the writing process uh, proceeded uh, because the the film has uh, for those. I guess who haven't seen it, um, it has like a real feeling of uh, spontaneity and freedom to it. Sort of a um, almost as if you might, you know, you might just be uh, filming scenes as they sort of occur to you sometimes. But then there's also this autobiographical component, which suggests that it's very uh, rigidly scripted, perhaps. Um, so could you just talk a bit about um, how the writing proceeded? Um, I mean, I, I, I think that in a way, the, the main advantage that I find in the fact that I base most of my movies on my personal experience and synonym even, even more than the previous ones, is the fact that it helped me to, 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 to detach myself and to resist to the convention of, of script writing. I mean, I mean, I always have this feeling that that um, that that each each person could witness or if he would have had to describe his life experience he would use words like uh, strange or chaotic or or, or peculiar or or, or, or or mysterious and then we watch movies, and there's something so so organized organized about them. I mean, there's something, and I always feel that this this the, the, the something in the narration softens, and in my opinion, also turns this this chaotic experience of existence less less turns it to be something less interesting, much more comprehensible in a way, maybe much more accessible, but 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 but. Maybe also life is charming because it's not accessible. So, so, so the fact, in a way, that I'm that I'm dealing, that I also have this, always have this simple argument saying, no, but this is how it happened. This is how it really happened. I think that it helped me to 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 avoid this 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 
this seduction, this, 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 this trap of falling to the same narrative conventions. And, and, and I always look for, and in synonyms, for a very, I mean, I think that the, the, the narration in my movie is very primitive. It's primitive in a sense that it's very basic. I mean, it's like, it's like if you think about synonyms, a guy leaves one country in order to move to another. Uh, he thinks it will be kind of salvation, kind of redemption. At the beginning, it's great. Then it's not so great. Then he leaves. I mean, you know, there are no, there are no turning points. There are no, yes, there are, but, but, but we all know this, 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 this basic construction. I mean, I mean, I mean, sometimes a person arrives carrying his bag and leaves some months earlier uh, with the same, more or less the same bag. Well, in the film it's not the same bag because they stole his bag, but it doesn't matter. But, uh, but, uh, but, but then, then begins, it's a platform, and then begins the, 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 the movie, and the movie is everything but this. So, so, so the script writing, I mean, I'm always afraid of very good script. You know, there are these scripts that people like uh, read them and they are, I mean, when someone tells you the script is perfect, I, 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 I was reading it laughing and crying at the same time. I think that, that, that you, sh you should leave the script aside. Because, because then, I mean, what's, 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 what's left to do? I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, uh, Pasolini was calling the script writing the, the uncompleted, uh, the unac unaccomplished uh, form of art, and I totally agree. I mean, I, mean, I mean, script must, I think, contain empty spaces. It must be imperfect. It must be, it must contain uh, questions that are not answered. Um, but you know, uh, that's why, for instance, it's always pr pretty hard for me to, to finance my movies because like people, I always, there was, I always facing, facing the same, I'm already used to it, but, but I always facing the same, uh, the same uh, response that people, like the, 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 they're really enthusiastic, I mean, at least those who love my movies, they're really enthusiastic by the idea that I'm going to make a movie. Yes, yes, send us the script, we can't wait to read it. And then two weeks later, there's kind of, you get kind of, kind of email. I mean, they're still into it, but they're a little bit disappointed. But it's okay, I think that, I'm trying to say that I think that scripts should be a little bit disappointing. I mean, I mean, otherwise, if you know, if you jump to the floor and said, hooray, okay, so let's leave it this way. Um, yeah, but not everyone, I mean, I can imagine it's hard for readers to 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 get used to be disappointed and be happy about it. No? Yeah. It demands a lot. Yeah. And but and as with uh, as with your last your last feature, uh, the kindergarten teacher, language is incredibly important here. And in synonyms, um, it seems to me that it kind of. Uh, I mean, the film is in part about this relationship, I think, between language and and cultural identity, and you know who who is who's a who's included and who is excluded from society and this kind of thing. Um, but then it's also, um, I th especially in in uh, some of these scenes where uh, Yoav is walking down the street and he's. Uh, uh, pract like practicing vocabulary, and it almost seems like you know he's uh, he's brushing up against uh, like madness or insanity or something, but from within this like the house of language, if you will. So could you just talk a little bit about how, about um, about sort of you know what this film maybe says about about language or just or just how what you were thinking about in terms of language because I think it was like clearly on your mind. Uh, when you were making the film, because it seems to go in a lot of directions uh, all at once. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I began, I first began as a novelist. Uh, I first began as a novelist, and I really, I really, I, I have, I really love words, but I don't like so much stories. 
So it already it, it, it you know it put you in a in a complicated position because you I'm, I mean you want to celebrate words without telling too much uh, stories. So and then and then uh, for me the solution is simple and I think you know there is this there are these convention mainly about artistic uh, films that they should be half mute with no words like people you know this cliche where people are watching a movie and they say it's unbelievable and then they, 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 there's no one single word and you're so I mean so, and sometimes it, it's great I mean I mean also, but 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 of course it's also it becomes also a cliche and a convention and in a way you want to 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 sometimes I feel that you have to save the honor of words I mean I mean words shouldn't be uh, uh, a cursed thing. So, so, so. But the thing for me, and also there is this distinction sometimes in cinema between films of words and films of actions, films of dialogue. But I think that for me, the 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 the, the solution is using, and this is maybe the thing, is using words not only as a functional thing, but also as an essential thing, which means that the importance of words is not only what they mean, what they represent, but what they are. So, and, 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 and it sounds very theoretical, but I'll try to explain it in a second. I mean, I mean then, I, I think that w when you talk in a, in a foreign language, suddenly it's, it, it becomes very clear, because, because there's a thing, you know, in the movie, okay, so this guy is, stops talking in Hebrew, and he moves to, to and, and suddenly he's a man without words. I mean, he's a man who deliberately uh, gave up his, uh, his words. So, so suddenly he's a man without words, so he must find new words, and these new words are words in French. And, and, and each word in French is a small triumph, a small victory over his previous identity, over himself. So he celebrates each word in French. It's, well, it's, each word in French Become, become, become a celebration, become a carnival, become, become a party, and 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 then, and then you judge the words differently because the question is not only what's their meaning, but for instance, what's their music. So, for instance, if you think about a word like sordid, sordid, so it's 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 pretty terrible word, but it's super fun to say it. So you can say sordid, sordid, you know, 24 hours. And, 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 and he enjoys so much saying it, like he's moving and he's dancing and he's saying it with, with, with his body, with his hips. And, his and then words become something different because words, are, I think, are problematic for cinema when, when they tell the script. You know, when, when you say, okay, this is what, uh, okay, we, s we watch some visuals and now we'll find out what's happening. Uh, tell us what's happening, and then the guy is talking. But uh, but 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 when words are 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 material among un among others, like colors, like locations, like 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 acts, like 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 actions. So so suddenly suddenly it's it's totally different. And you know I think it's the same thing about ideas, because for instance. I think that it's pretty uh, complicated to understand, to 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 decide or to 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 define if synonyms is a political or not political film, and I think it's also because of it's also because of the fact that it contains maybe contradictions, but also because of the fact that there are there are a lot there are a lot of moments when people are telling ideas, but these are not the ideas of the movie. These ideas are part of life, part of existence. Like you know, I don't know, we eat something, we 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 I don't know, we take a shower, we kiss, and we say something that might be an idea. So the idea is is just uh, something you know on the ch on the chain of of our life, and 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 then ideas become also become also a, a material. They become a, an existential material. They don't become a message. So, so the film contains all sorts of political ideas, but these are not the ideas of the film. Or maybe, or maybe the film doesn't have a clear idea. Do you think that's, that this is something that uh, perhaps 
synonyms shares with the kindergarten teacher, which, you know, there's there's po there's so much poetry in the film, and there you really feel sort of the the weight and the materiality of just of of, of language itself. Uh, maybe something similar is happening here, but I I was curious about that relationship in general because I there I think I feel like these films are connected, but in a way that's not immediately clear. You know, there is there is this connection that that in both films the main character has the same name, so 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 which is Okay, I mean, for me, it's a kind of a little bit kind of playful thing, and also because because at the end it's always the same character, so I'm too lazy to invent a new name. So uh, so I said okay, but 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 uh, but but then then I remember I have been once in a, in a, in a, in a kind of a discussion about my movie, and I was a teacher from university, and she started really to to treat this issue very seriously, you know, like you say, ah, oh, the young you have uh, got older and become. Uh, Okay, but I mean, I mean, I, I, I would, I wouldn't look at it so literally, but, but, yeah, the films, the films are are connected, maybe in the sense that in both films there is an attempt to 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 redeem yourself and to change a certain deterministic curse of history using the power of words. And uh, and this is maybe something in 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 common. And um, in synonyms, the the vehicle for all this language that we're talking, or a lot of the language that we're talking about, is um, your 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 leading man. This this guy, Tom Mercier, is completely uh, you know in, impossible to take your eyes off of when he's in the film and so on. I'm 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 just wondering. I guess first, just you know, on a sort of practical level, like where'd you find this? Where'd you find this Israeli guy with the French name to be in your film about being an Israeli guy in Paris and and so on? And and also just you know how how did the how did the two of you work together? Because it's um, it's such a you know crazy magnetic performance. I mean, I mean. And I, 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 th I, th I think it's, it's, it's absolutely justified. But you know, people ask me so many questions about Omar. Yes, sometimes I feel like, like his agent. But 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 <laughs> but but I mean, but 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 but, but I mean, he, he deserves it. Um, uh, you know, when 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 you when you when I so when I wrote the script, I, I naturally I, I I imagined a little bit myself in all these scenes uh, because. Because I was there, and and then arrived the, the the casting stage, and I remember that at the beginning I was pretty melancholic, because I told myself that in a way I should have casted myself for the movie, but but first of all I'm pretty bad actor, and second of all, uh, this guy who was myself 17, 18 years ago doesn't exist anymore. So, so, so that wasn't have been an option. And I told myself, okay, whoever I will cast, it will be, it won't be, it will be a little fake. It won't be. Till I met Tom Mercier, and he made me forget about myself, which is not easy. And 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 also, 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 also. I mean. At, at one second, I didn't regret any, any, any more any of this, and I think he made me. It's not it made me understand, but I understood again. It's a little bit, you know, like like the film is maybe a better version of life. So I felt Tom Mercier is a better better version of myself, um, and I, we found him in, in in a regular casting. I mean, I mean, you know, like like. When we analyze, I work all, always with the same casting director. And when he, when we analyze the role, so like, okay, you, you tell yourself, I need a handsome, charismatic, uh, masculine Israeli guy uh, between 22 and 24 years old. Those some Israeli guys. I mean, they're pretty much, I think. But then when we started to analyze the role, we understood to which extent it's. I think it's an immense role. I mean, I think, it, you know, it's so demanding and, and, and the film is, 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 is written on his soul and his body and his, his brain and his... And, 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 and we understood that only few, few, that there are few actors that are capable of it. And Tom was, 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 was back then, was a student in a, th in a theater school and he's never, he's never been on set, I think, before. Someone talked to us about him we watched a photo. We didn't know him. 
when you, when you arrive to the audition. And, and, you know, there are so many legends about auditions that uh, even when you tell the truth, you feel as if you are exaggerating or lying. But, uh, but it was really immense. And I, I, f what, what I, the thing I remember most from this audition was that, uh, well, he's a, an extremely serious guy, like super serious, like he gets in and he's doing his stuff. He, he hardly talks to you, like he doesn't ask you how are you and things like this. He's polite, but he's too, he's too concentrated on the thing. And, and he, he was doing, I mean, he was doing what he was supposed to do and it was very good. And then when we analyzed the character, we told ourselves that he's someone who's always, um, who has this power of charming, charming other people. There is this, this thing of, of fascinate, charming. And then the casting director told him, okay, now charm us. So I said, fuck, I mean, it's not easy, sorry. But, 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 but I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't like someone to tell me charm me or fascinate me or something like that. And, 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 he, was, and he was really super serious, so he was thinking for maybe three, four seconds. And there was a curtain there and he went beyond the curtain, and I don't know why, but he found there like an old kind of puppet or something like this, uh, or, or, or puppet of, 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 a, of a woman, and suddenly he burst in with the woman, and it was, uh, he started, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, uh, fighting, uh, making love, dancing with this, with this, with this puppet, and it was so inventive and so wild and full with imagination and the Satan so unpredictable, all the things that he's done, and it took like and it went on and on and on, and we couldn't couldn't and and, and when and when I watched it I, I knew that it's him and and, and we, we we couldn't we didn't want to make him stop, and I remember that the only thought that i I told myself, okay, I hope that the movie will be uh, as good as this audition, and 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 then at a certain moment, okay, we had to stop. So we told him, uh, thanks a lot. And in one second, he was again, you know, this serious guy. Oh, thanks a lot, and 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 he went out. And 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 this is, you know, it's like a car who's racing from zero kilometers per hour to 500 kilometers per hour in a second. And 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 I think that is, it's also you can feel it also in the movie because he's someone who's, I mean, he's tender and fragile and, 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 and polite, but he can't explode in each second. I mean, I mean, he has this violence inside him. And, and, and Tom is exactly like this. He was, he was a judo champion, and everyone predicted that he would bring uh, Olympic medals, and one day he abandoned the judo and became a dancer. So he's really is tender, he's fragile, but, but, but he's also full with, he's dangerous. And, 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 and there's a dangerous thing about him. And this is, and, and, and nevertheless, is really, you'll never meet a nicer person. And he's a and he's, and he's, 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 he's really hard worker. And, and you, I don't know, when, when, he, when he fix a meeting with you in 9 a.m., he will be there in 8.30 to be sure that he won't be late. And he's really is the nicest person, but he doesn't have any limits. I mean, I've never met someone so free in my life. And, and I remember, you know, when, when we were in, in the Berlinale, for instance, so we've done some interviews together, and journalists, they always asked him about the, for those of you who watched the movie, for about the nudity scenes, and the, 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 the and how, and he was looking at them, and he, he, he truly and sincerely didn't, didn't understand what they were talking about, because he could have done also the interview naked. I mean, he was, he was, he was, it was, and, and another thing about him is that since his physical capacities, and also intellectual ones, are really unlimited, it's like, it's like having Superman on set. I mean, you can ask him to fly and he'll do it. Um, 10 takes, 20 takes, you can ask him to. And it's very tempting. There was a moment that I told myself, okay, you should stop, because I just enjoyed of giving him tasks in order to see him fulfilling him. And we, and we ran out of shooting time, so I told myself you should stop. But 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 uh, but yeah, okay. You understand why why I said that I feel myself as the agent. <laughs> um, yeah. On the, uh, well, on the subject of nudity, uh, the clothes are very important in this film. I think it's kind of a rare it's kind of a rare thing that the wardrobe 
the wardrobe is um, such an expressive part of the of the mise en scene, and it seems it seems like something that you that you thought about a lot. And of course, people people know. Uh, I'm sure anyone who's seen a still from the film or whatever has has seen uh, uh, Yoav's yellow coat. But I think it's also um, the the siblings who he, who he takes up with. Uh, their the way that they're dressed sort of indicates what like they're they're like haute bourgeois like. Parisians who how you know who are separated by an ocean of uh, an economic ocean from this guy and also and when you first meet him well not only is he naked pretty much when you first meet him but he has the the lip piercing which he he loses uh, almost immediately and that that of course seemed quite deliberate could you just could you talk a bit about maybe um, how you sort of derive the the concept for the wardrobe in the film and sort of what role that played. So, uh, actually, you know that actually there's a debate if it's yellow or mustard, the, 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 the color of the coat. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I, I don't know, but whatever. But, uh, yeah, so, so maybe I'll begin with the coat. I mean, I rem there was a moment when I understood, again, I, in my head, the movie is a little bit, and from the beginning I felt that the movie is a little bit, in a way, kind of superhero movie. And that, that this guy, he has this tragedy of superheroes that he can be superior or inferior, but never be a part of, never be really integrated. Uh, and I felt that there's something that should distinct him from, from, from and, and, and make him uh, visible, even if he... I remember that when I was talking with my casting, uh, casting, how did I, casting director, yeah, so so we try to find out what what should he be wearing. So first of all, it was clear for me that he should wear the same thing, like no, like Superman. He should wear the same thing. But second, I told her, let's find something that like from the moon. When you look at Earth, you see like the two things. You see the Chinese wall, and you see Thomas here walking, and 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 that 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 that, that yeah, and that. Something that that will 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 detach him from from his surrounding. So this was one thing, and then the other thing was this uh, idea that you know he's running away from Israel from his military past, and then he's exchanging one uniform with with more subtle uniform, but his uniform. And the third thing, uh, the third thing was was I loved it because there is this moment that this French couple they they save him, and then they 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 they. they they enable him to get back to society or they integrate him in society by giving him whatever he needs. So they give him money and clothes. Uh, but at the same time, at the same time, by giving him this coat, they already also also put a certain there's already a certain barrier. Because they are all dressed with with you know, with the colours of people who who understand what life is. Sorry now for offending those who are not dressed with, but I'm, which I mean on the scale between gray and black, and it can also be blue sky and and, and <laughs> yeah, and white and whatever. But but and he is dressed with the with this clothes of the person that that like at the end of the movie that thinks that he is a hero, but actually is the destruction of others, and and uh, and. Uh, and then yesterday I met, um, I met, and this is the last thing that I'll say about the coat, I met, uh, you know, Arnaud de Plechon, the director, the French director, and he told me, he told me like, uh, we were talking about the movie, and he told me like, for me it's, it's the most, it's the most Jewish or Israeli thing to walk around with a yellow coat shouting, I'm not Israeli, I'm not Israeli. It's like the, the contradiction, so, so, so it's nice. I think it's a good analyze. But uh, so this was about uh, the code. And about this piercing, I, I don't know, I, I think that I found it, first of all, I found it, you know, I mean, always when you have a, first of all, also when, always I feel that when you have a concept, you should have the, 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 a bag, a, ba a bag in your concept, the thing that is not working well. So. If the concept would, was that he's losing everything, so I told myself, but one thing, when, when they stole his things, one thing should remain, which would be the piercing. But also I like the idea that, um, I think people see him like this in the first 
moment of the movie and they tell themselves they tell themselves okay now I'll in a way now I'll have to watch throughout the whole movie a guy with this piercing so you prepare yourself and then and then it disappears so I don't know I found it amusing <laughs> uh, maybe I'll, I'll I'll ask one final question then we'll open it up to the audience um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess I, I would be remiss not to ask about the, re, uh, the reception of the film in, in France and in Israel, and maybe, um, you know, wh wh what was your experience of that? You know, how, what, what did you make of uh, the way the film was received? You know, outside of the film festival world, and um, sort of in the two countries that, in a way, the film is about. Um, in. First of all, I must say that, that in a surprising or unsurprising uh, way, I feel that the film is received all over the world basically in the same way. Uh, I mean, I mean there it's very dividing. There are people who, who few people stay totally indifferent. Few, few pe people think that the film is nice. There are those who are furious. There are those who are really, really shaken. Um, but it evokes very powerful reactions. And I think that they are mainly, mainly, mainly connected with the cinematic form more than the content, or maybe with the, with the mixture of, of these two things. But, but we know that at the end, what is provocative is I think so. So in cinema, is much more the form than the content. I, like I feel that people who, who I mean, I'm not supposed to be the the spokesman of those who hate my movie, but if I'll try to do it for a second, so what I feel is that people, I mean, synonyms. I think it's a film about a vi vibration. It's a film about movement. It's it's a it's a films that at least tries to, to vibrate from the very second and that this vibration that begins in the first frame of the movie will, ki will accompany you throughout the whole film till its very end, till the last uh, frame, till the last scene, till the last second, despite of the fact that the film is, 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 um, is uh, os oscillating, you say? Mm -hmm. Oscillating between, s I don't know, 20, uh, cinematic uh, styles and, and between two different cameras and, and but but it's the same movement and I think that people that are taken and shaken physically and emotionally and, and intellectually and all of this it's at the end it's the same thing but by, by this movement they, they respond very very powerfully to the movie and those who don't they feel like like a boxer in a box context, con contest that is all the time punched by the movie. Like they feel that for two hours and three minutes they only only punched all the time, so they become angry. I can I can imagine. I mean, I like as a spectator to be punched by movies. I think I think it's a, really I think I think it's a good I think it's the experience of viewing uh, films. Um, uh, after how the movie was was in Israel. It depends. Like first of all, when the movie won the Golden Bear, so so really it was it was pretty enormous thing. I mean, I didn't know because I was in Berlin in the ceremony. But the three uh, the, the three main TV TV channels they 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 they, they, they stopped the 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 the, 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 the programs, uh, and there was a kind of special news. You know, for me, like it's something that happened when a war starts, <laughs> or not, 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 not when someone is winning a, a, an award if, you know, a film festival. So, so, so in, in the beginning, and, 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 the, and the title was either Israeli Pride or Israeli Hero. With, so I became an Israeli hero. You can. You so can, I was going to say an can. announcement about you on TV might be like the announcement that a war has begun. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So, 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 and when I went back, I remember when I went back in the airplane. People were so moved, and they, they, I mean, it was really, it was really, it was touching. I mean, they said, uh, "Yeah, I, I was walking proud in the streets of Berlin," and I told them, "An Israeli guy won." And, uh, 
it. It was nice, really. And, and then arriving to the airport, there were dozens of, of cameras and journalists. There was an improvised conference. It was, it was... And then they started to show on TV scenes from the movie. And you can imagine which scenes they selected. And suddenly people weren't sure anymore if it's like national uh, Israeli pride or Israeli shame, and if it's like a, a hero or a traitor or whatever. And I started to get all sorts of, well, it's not, not very important, but people started to get angry. Uh, but all of this happened before the movie. The movie was released. Um, and, and then when the movie was released, I had, they asked me to make some talks with audience. And I remember that for the first uh, meeting with audience, I truly, I ask you, you to, for those of you who watch the movie, you know there is his, his muscular friend, his big guy, the one who's uh, humming the, uh, Isra the Israeli hymn. In the, in so I asked him to come with me because I told myself, okay, <laughs> if it's gonna, <laughs> yeah, let's see. I mean, you'd better have this guy on your, on your side. And, uh, but then actually I must say that Besides maybe two or three charge moments, most of the people they 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 they, 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 they really they really they really they really understood the movie on much a broader uh, sense and, and and they didn't you know they wasn't preoccupied or obsessed by uh, pro Israeli anti Israeli actually the only one was. Uh, there is in Israel, I don't know if you, if you know, but there is, the, or there w maybe, maybe there was, because now there were elections, but the Minister of Culture was not the brightest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, she has her qualities, but, but they are not connected with culture. And, 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 uh, not not that kind of culture, yeah, yeah, uh, and 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 I remember that when there was the premiere, so a guy that I didn't know came to me and he told me, "Hi, uh, I'm uh, the, the 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 I'm the assistant. Or I'm working with this Minister of Culture, and I came to examine whether the movie is pro or anti-Israeli." So I told him, I answered, I mean, I answered, and it's really sincere. I said, honestly, I told him, okay, when you find out, tell me. Because, 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 because really till now, I don't know. I mean, if the film is pro anti Israeli, I think you know. But, um, but then, as I said, audiences as well, I mean, there were people who were again, there were people who were for, but, but, but the movie, but, but the reactions were much beyond the, 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 the strict political thing. Which is, I think, also logical for such a movie because I don't think that synonyms is a, is a, is it's not it's not a political movie on in the narrow sense of the the, the notion, and, and I don't think that it's a left wing movie. You know, I mean, I think that I, it's not a right wing movie, but it's not a left wing movie. I don't think that there is there is any political party that can show synonyms in its reunions. You know, something like this. Uh, until uh, because because and also because the film is 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 in a certain se sense at least it's 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 it's, it's him of fury and intimacy with Israel and in uh, maybe in fury and intimacy with any form of identity. I mean, you feel to which I extent identity is a terrible cage. But at the same time, it's not sure that outside of this cage, life is better. And uh, and um, yeah, so 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 so, so this, this is more or less. And, and I must say that I got a lot of very very moving reactions from people in Israel that I I didn't know. A lot of them from younger people who felt that the movie is really 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 telling their story. People who wanted to leave Israel, but 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 still live there, people who left and went back, people who left and feel, feel, feel sometimes lost in a way, people who live this, this combination of alienation and intimacy and people who told me how they sent their, their, their parents and their friends and their loved ones to, 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 to grasp, to understand what they've been living through. In France, 
you know, in Berlin, like I felt that those who love most the movie was Belgium journalist because for them the film was was making fun of the French, the French. So they were super happy. Like really, in Belgium, the film was there. Wow. Um, um, I mean, I, I think that for 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 many French, I mean, in France mainly, the film was very 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 well accepted, but. Uh, but uh, well, I don't know. There was this beautiful cover of the Cahiers de Cinema, and, and uh, but uh, but but I think that, that they felt that the film is much more harsh and critical about them than about Israel, and in a certain way, they might be right, because because I think that you know I mean what I mean at the end of the movie I tell myself. The, the 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 film is fascinated and desiring most the Israeli guy. I mean, at the end of the movie, I can't imagine a spectator who would say, "No, I would love to be the French guy," because 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 uh, I mean I mean he is so vivid, and they are like Jim Jarmusch film, Dead Man Walking. Uh, so. Um, so I think I think for for certain people there it was hard, but but. But then again, as I said, since then, wh wherever the film was shown, it was shown in many countries except for China, where it was censored. But uh, but in all the places where it was shown, reactions are the same, and and and, and they are they are very powerful. So let's <laughs> let's take some audience questions. Uh, we'll start over here. It's a more personal question. So most of the Israelis I know, after their military service, they went to like India, Nepal, Thailand. Just curious how you chose Europe. To go to Paris. Yeah. Uh, I, well, first of all, I think you know that, that that most of the Israelis they go to these places in order to be to be able to 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 to. to to live with what they've been passing through, and I mean, it's a way. It's a way to 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 ref, to find again normality or tranquility. I wanted to to. I I I, I swear that, that that I'll never I'll never I'll never my my, my I'll never go back to Israel. I mean, I wanted to, 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 to annihilate this part in my life. I wanted to, 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 to get rid of my identity. And, and I think that in a way, in an unconscious, in a, maybe in an unconscious way, I felt like that France and Israel are too, too... Both of them, they are not only geographical terms, they are promises, they are concepts, they are, they are visions. Uh, uh, psychological, artistic, existential, political, but I felt that there are two opposed visions. I felt that whatever is appreciated in Israel is despised in France, and whatever is despised in France is appreciated in Israel. Yeah, it's the same. But, 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 and I, 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 I wanted to go to a place where, where everything will be the opposite, where black will be white and tall will be high. And uh, tall will be, tall will be, yeah. up will be down. So, 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 I think that's why. But, but also, it was, it was driven by back then. It was driven by very vague and stupid reasons. I had a childhood admiration for Napoleon Bonaparte. I loved Zinedine Zidane, you know, the footballer. You know? And and I watched for the first time uh, Abu de Souffle de Godard. So I thought that like each French people is either Bonaparte or Zidane or Godard. Well, it isn't. But but I think that in a way, we all, all of us, at a certain moment, we want to be French, no? And the French they are aware of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Uh, but thank you very much for being here, Nadav. Thanks a lot. Thank all of you.